full gear. Gotta drop my armor, leave my weapons. Professor's mutagens might work on me as they did on his son. Well, time to find out. Cell for portals. Feels dead. Maybe a sign will revive it. That's it, Roach. Hey-ya! Whoa there, Roach! Come on, Roach! A 
job is like the lady. You can always get a new one. Yes, a face no one to be tempted. Geralt of Rivia! dug up. Thing is, brave robbers don't usually wail and moan that much.
come to visit your grandpa's grave, I guess. What the poking devils? Who are you? Who sent you? So many questions, so few answers. Blimey, we're the plumbing philosopher. Get the smarmy cat diddler, lads! <sighs> if I only had a crown for every time a bunch like this. Any last words? More fighting. Strong oh, is this coming from the catacombs, it seems? Mayfair. Fresh. Funeral wasn't too long ago. Louis de Corentin. Died on the day of Saint Zoetham's remembrance. Hmm. Noises started right around then. Hmm. Gold. Can't be grave robbers. None worth their salt would have left this. Here lies Margot de Corentin. Smashed, as if someone threw it against the wall. No sign of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. Maybe this isn't the spot after all. Strange. The noise is clearly coming from that tomb. Impossible. See how things play out.
You'd rather lie about all day, flipping those cards like some... Dwarf! Disgusting! Indeed. Better to stand at the door of Lepiota's temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. Ingrate, I prayed for you, that you would cast off the yoke of gambling. Fine job you did of it. Seems the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? This is a private conversation. Mind keeping it down? Neighbors are complaining. Neighbors? Everyone here is dead! I know not your name, but you must help me. I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once! Slow down. What's the problem? This is my crypt, and this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. An eternity of nagging the misery! I was blind and a fool to marry him! He's a slave to the cards, prepared to wager his own child on a round of Gwent! Once, damn it, and as a jest! How many times must I explain? And who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Lepioda? Piety! That was my cause! The Prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting! How was I to know it was all a fraud? Because I warned you some five hundred times! Quiet. Shut up, both of you. Look, if there's to be peace and quiet here, one of you's gotta go. Need to move one of you out. Yes. Take him. Please. Do so. And I shall... I shall tell you where I hit his lucky Gwent card. I knew it was you! And now, you would evict me from my crypt, then pay for the deed with my cards! Blast it all! Had I those very cards at the tournament in Balhaven, I'd still be alive! It's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death! They murdered you for your debts! I had nothing to do with it! Come, I heed this good book-thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself, as soon as you've removed her. <sighs> Need to think about it. All right, gotta move one of them out. Thus spake the prophet Lepiota. Thou shalt not play the coin. After which he promptly added, For you shall have none left for me! Heretic! I see you fell for that pious tart's drivel. Drat! Ah, oh, well, then listen. I've a request. Be a good fellow and set me in the chamber of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. It's just round the corner. You a member? That's just it. I was not. But I would have dearly liked to have been. And joining them in death shouldn't bother anyone. Certainly doesn't bother me. I'll do it. Where's this chamber? Ah. <sighs> Once you enter the catacombs, go straight. The chamber will be on your right, near the corridor's mouth, and I thank you.
private chamber. The right honorable members of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. Now oh, this is it. Right. High time Margot paid up. Cemetery ought to be real nice and quiet now. Ah, to sleep in my own bed once more. The clogs has grown intolerably loud. The punters bellow like men possessed. One madman especially, always shouting, ordering, ordering. But tell me, at the cemetery, what was it? Beasts, as you claimed? Nope, just a marital spat. That's it? But... They hollered like skewered pole cats. Mm. Sorry to bother you with such a trifle. Here for your trouble. Thanks. Let us drink to the health of our ladies. For healthy ladies. Did you care, sir? Our sweet shining sun. <sighs> Now say that. Uh oh. Trouble. Uh. That Duchess of ours. Have you at least been with her others? The white wolf himself. Done. Now, where you got those cards? Leave the city through the Cooper's Gate, then we are right. Our house is easily recognized. A tree atones the sign above the door. I buried the chest in the garden, beneath the rose bush. Tree on a sign, rose bush. Think I got it. Might I ask what you did with Louis? True, he knew nothing in life but Gwent, but I would still prefer he not spend eternity in a ditch or privy. Don't worry about it. Found him a nice place. Ought to feel right at home. Farewell. Beauclair, not some flea-witted province. Disperse! The exhibition of the Reginald Daubry Monument Big will remain- Closed? Why, we wrote an entire day to see it. Nice oh. tune. The North must be a terribly barbaric land. Long live our lady Anna Henrietta. The question.
need to go around. Tree on the sign. Must be the house. Medallion's humming. Something's not quite right. She said, and the Gwent cards, I promised. Welcome to Beauclair, city of love. 